All right, Shalom, Brother Kosh Carla, coming back at you with a swift lesson in the spirit. I don't got a lot of um, storage on my phone, so if it cuts off, you know, but I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to you. I'll bash me, I'll shy. Bash him, chak with dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, the rule, and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the 11, 144, first fruit. So this lesson, <laughs> certain, you know, certain verses that we bring out at camp that are clap we usually be like oh i'm bringing out a classic script man a lot of those just be pertaining to us and the one that be well let me not per se pertaining to like strictly to us but like what i want to say is we're not exempt from any not one word that is in this book okay i'm not saying that bros had that intention or you know thought of it but sometimes you can catch yourself walking around like, oh, I'm a prophet. And you see what I'm saying? If y'all know where I'm getting at. One one script that comes out to me is Romans 11 and 8. All right. We bring it out a lot. Right. It says, well, I'll read seven. But the point is eight it says, um, uh, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. Right. And the rest were blinded. The elect, the election has obtained it. OK. Now, at the end of the day, we don't know if we're part of that number. That's why the scriptures tell us to examine thyself, whether you be in the in the faith. And even that word examine, it means to attempt. So you and then the scriptures say, um, you know, put on as the elect. So if it's telling you to put on the as the elect. And examine yourself, which that word examine, when you look into it on the blue letter, it, it means to attempt. So attempt to do something. You're attempting to be as the elect by putting on as the elect. You're attempting to be somebody, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord uh, deems fit. You're attempting to be someone meet for uh, repentance, meaning acceptable. You're attempting to be this individual. So if you're attempting to be something... With the temps, you know, failure is going to come, you know, shit, even success will come. Let's be optimistic as well, not be so pessimistic about things. But at the same time, you're you're in that that middle area where you can go either way, attempting to be something. All right. And we're attempting to be as the elect. We don't know, though. Yeah, all right. So verse eight, it says, according as it is written, the most high have given the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Now, what I'm getting at. OK, hear me out. I'm not sitting here saying like full fledged. We just some blind ass motherfuckers out here. Like, no. We know what blind is. <laughs> OK, we got the truth. The Lord opened our eyes and set us free, just like the scriptures say. But when you're going through your walk, there's some things that you're just not going to see. That goes on along, along the lines of understanding a simple saying, you're not perfect. You're going you're gonna to slip and fall and bump your damn head because you didn't see something or you didn't take heed or hear something. That's what I mean. Romans 11 and 8 can apply to us sometimes. Sometimes we don't see something and then we're in a fucking predicament that we're like, shit, if I would have saw that earlier, maybe I wouldn't be here now. That's how you know you're not exempt from anything. We've been seeing plethora of scriptures where it shows prophets even dying. You see what I'm saying? You're not exempt. Uh, shit, look at Paul. Paul went through things. He had to fall and bump his head a lot of times to get the wisdom that he had to write these epistles for us to read at this very moment, okay? At this very, very, the only perfect one was Yahweh Shai, you know? He was, he, the, he had 100% spirit on him. Look, man, we be in the flesh sometimes. You're going to fall and bump your head, all right? But that doesn't, that, let me bring this up, okay? Because when a, a bit, a percentage <laughs> of Romans 11 and 8, and I hope y'all brothers are like, Understanding what I'm trying to get at, you know, you know, sometimes your spirit be so antsy, you can't really explain it how you want to. But I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. 
Um, but even if you, you know, you may not see it that one time, you know, and you may be falling and bumping your head, it will feel like you're by yourself. And I know a plethora of brothers and I know Apostle Gabar has done a video, you know, saying that every brother has their own garden of the Gethsemane moment where it feels like you're alone. But it's true. Sometimes the Lord is going to blind your eyes for a season for you to go through something and then open them again to reveal what you went through and then you understand it and become better. It's character building. You can't, you know, we're not perfect. You just ain't going to go walk through life easy peasy, especially being here in prison, which I mean, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. All right. This is a good verse right here. Job 13 and 15 it says, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Right. So let's go into the word slay. All right. Oops. Salakia. Let's go into the word slay real quick. All right. In the Hebrew, it's uh, Quetal. In the Hebrew, um, uh, Quatala, Quetal says to slay and kill. If you if you ended at, you know, base surface right there, if you ended at base surface right there, it's going to be like, damn, man. Yeah, the Lord be like I just said, mentioned earlier, you know, around the inception of this video. Like, hey, we read about prophets who, you know got beheaded, got thrust through, uh, thrust through, got stoned, all these other little things. We didn't seen this stuff. You know, we didn't seen this stuff happen before, you know, and, you know, damn, like he be slaying the prophets like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? But really, in a sense, you keep reading on this, Salakia. Yeah, you keep reading on this. It says to cut off. What did Jake like to say? You know, after they done dealing with somebody or someone did him wrong. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut that motherfucker off, man. I'm gonna cut him off. Sometimes you be in your life and the Lord be watching it like, man, what the fuck is this guy doing? So he cut you off for a season. He'll cut your ass off. So the spirit ain't on you all the time. He'll cut your ass off and then you'll be realizing like, man, what the fuck? Why is everything around me in shambles? Yeah, you got cut off. But even though you got cut off and you finally realize it when he opens your eyes to the fact that you cut the fuck off, you got to maintain your integrity. It says, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Right. You got to maintain your integrity. You got to show him that you still believe in him, even though you feel like you're by yourself. You can cut somebody off for a time being and then reconcile. The scriptures even tell you to do that with your own wife. And sometimes, you know, y'all may have to have a, you know, in Corinthians, y'all may have to split up a little bit. You sick of her, she's sick of you, you know, you cut each other off for a time, but make sure you reconcile. But that time where you cut off, give into prayer and fasting and you reconcile and everything's better. It may be the same thing that be happening between you and the Lord when you're going through your tribulation. You ever thought about that? And it may be, and it may be to where your eyes are blinded and your ears are. Are, are filled up, okay, to where you're not listening or seeing something and like, damn, that's why I'm going through something. And then the Lord will come back and reconcile with you and reveal it to you. And then your tribulation eases off of you because now you have became a better man. But you got to keep your own ways. You have to keep your integrity and your patience while you're doing, while you're going through what you're going through, you know? So I didn't want to make this too long. Just wanted to bring out that lesson. Um, hopefully, you know, this rests with brothers spirits you know resonates with them maybe if you're going through something right now you know figure it out you know you're going you're going to figure it out but you may feel alone right now but just know that the lord is still watching you even though you may have been cut off for a season and just know that the brothers are still around even if they can't lend the helping hand the spirit may have it to where they can't do it right now don't mean that they ain't your brother all right so don't get butt hurt you know what I'm saying? Thinking that nobody's here to help you. Sometimes you got to help your damn self, bro. Be a fucking man. All right? So, Lord willing, said to find, give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Echakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, the rule, and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect, 144 fresh fruit. Till the next time, we'll say Shalom, and like always, repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believe. Shalom.